In this video, we're going to play with some rock steps and crossovers. So we maybe know this move when we just like travel with some triple step. Yes, um, people will know it maybe from the, the basic A count. Um, I don't think it's a basic A count, but. Whole other topics. So okay, <laughs> never we'll mind. Talk about it. <laughs> it's a modern basic A count. Yeah. So, but the idea is like the traveling. And side by side, closed position. It could really go around. So we would like to give you some um, tips about how to play with this traveling and make it maybe look more swingy, groovy. Enjoy it more because it's yes. a lot of triple steps and you can really enjoy it if you play with your body. So we show you um, a completely different version and then we're gonna show you how to make it, uh, how to improve it. So this one is more like <laughs> and you can see like we didn't talk about it just before, but my partner is totally feeling it. Like the way I'm not moving or I'm moving. And, and um, so my partner can help me to make it more groovy, but um, yes, we need to do something about it. So the first thing would be like the bounce. Yes, yeah. having a, a steady bounce happening all the time. You can also like free a little bit your heels if you want when you bounce. Yeah. You don't have to do it big, but just like it has to be there. So, that's the first thing. Then, uh, if you bounce but stay kind of straight, you can see that something is also missing. So, we're going to show you two ideas. Uh, the first one is the one going down and going back. So, having triple, triple, Using triple, the upper body, yeah? Triple, triple. And you can travel with that. Two, two, two. Front, back, front. Back, front, back, front, back. Yes, and when we say back, um, it can be very easy to understand it this way that you go down, you lean back, but you don't have to lean that much back. It's more about like going down and coming back. Going down, coming back, going down, coming I back. I think also maybe think that it's not that we are penguins doing this, but it's more about you know the hips moving and because the hips move our upper body echoes that movement, so don't think too much about, you know, leaning, but it's really like how you move this part, and then everything else will join. Mm -hmm. In other exercise, we can also play, so we can have the go down and back, or lean, and we can also cross, yes? And, and we're going to practice this with like some triple step, maybe, um, shall we all start with the same yep. foot? Starting with the right foot, chook, 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 to Kerala. So you can see that we are playing with a upper twist and lower twist. Yes, you can practice this at home. Yeah. <laughs> to check your body. And, and, and really try to have this opposition happening. Also using the arms. Arms always help pretty much in everything. Yes. So how to apply it in our triple steps. Uh, if we're here, we can see we have one, two, triple, triple, triple. It doesn't have to be extreme. Yeah, we don't need to like go crazy. Also because we dance close, so it would be weird. But having a little bit of this, like going down, up, uh, or down, back, and sideways, then you can see that it gives some space also in your movement. Two, two, ba do one. Two, ta, two, ba do ta. Dancing doesn't need to be complicated to feel nice. And, and just traveling with triple step yeah. can be very nice. And at, it can also be functional. Let's say you have, you're dancing somewhere where it's very like a lot of people and you yeah. need to go somewhere else, then just, just, just do that, yeah. <laughs> keep dancing and go to somewhere else on the dance floor. Or it's a nice idea when you dance with somebody who doesn't know how to dance much, but they know the triple step, you can do this and have lots of fun. Definitely. We're gonna now play a little bit like with rock steps. So, um, rock step, you know it maybe from here. The first one is going back. And you maybe know this one when the next one is going front. And then we're back where we started. But we're gonna do it a bit differently. We're gonna start here. Rock step, rock step, rock step, rock step, triple, yes? Uh, you can use it for dancing or you can use it as a practice. 
to be more clear with leading your, your rock steps. Following also. You don't have to do it all the time. You could just be traveling and then whenever you want, boom. Oh. Or when you cannot go further because there is a wall. <laughs> rock step, boom. Rock step, triple. Rock step, triple. A rock step, triple. Yes. So from here, base. um, what? That's like the base, that's the groundwork. Mm -hmm. And then you can have flowers on top. You can use the rock step we just showed you like as a redirection, for example, from a circle or a six count circle. Maybe you know the six count circle going here, traveling to the side. And we're gonna replace this triple step with a rock step and getting back together. Mm -hmm. From here you can go rock step, rock step, rock step, and rock step. It's a bit more of a round movement. Yeah. And the next movement is going to go into the crossovers? Yes. We try together first, then we go along. Yeah. So from here, what I'm doing could actually start from using right rock step, going rock step, boom. Show you one more time. Rock step kick and rock step boom. The reason why um, we're not doing a triple step and we're doing a, a kick instead is a lot about uh, the position of our body, yes? And it's something you can try to play with. It's like uh, just playing with this idea of uh, using, using your posture to communicate like a place for the foot. So here it's like having weight on it or no weight or it could also be a bit more up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we try to not lose the not balance. That, not that much up, but yeah. <laughs> but the thing is that when we come from a rock step, we have no space for a triple step, yes, because we're too, too, too high. So that's why it's really kind of natural Ooh. to go into a kick step. So we're here and we're gonna start to get into it. So we have one, two, three, a five, six, set. Um, you can also see a little thing is like, we use here, like we use our connection to make space yeah. to allow our step to pass by. Because if we're too close, then we cannot place both feet here. So from here, we could go, for example, directly from this position into this movement. You could go back into a rock step and going here. <laughs> <laughs> Or you can just from here, continuing your traveling. So we have different way of getting out. Um, we're gonna show you one first. It's from here, sliding, coming back, two, kidu, ooh, two, kidu, ah, and slide, doing something else. Dancing, yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, we're gonna show you how to not come back to a rock step, and just continue with dancing. So we're gonna take this idea of having mm -hmm. a, a tuck turn. Yep. Yeah, so tuck turn going rock step and triple step and triple step, rock step. I'll show you one more time. Rock step and triple and triple, rock step. So the main idea we need is like, we're gonna use this opening going in and then the rotation. The difference is gonna be, we don't have a rock step anymore. So we're gonna come from here. Rock step and triple step, rock step. That's my rock step, my in, and my rotation. We'll show you one more time. We have rock step, boom, A, two, kidu, ah. Yeah, so it's a lot about the movement, not about the steps, yeah. So it's nice to actually play with this. And actually what we have, if you remember, like this triple step we use for crossing, this is also happening, at least for me. I don't know for you. you can I think I'm twisting two, over the hips. Oop, two, kidu, two, kida, oop. Yeah, more for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah.